Usually, physicians, including me, ask patients with cardiovascular disease to avoid coffee, especially for those with cardiac arrhythmia. Now, here is a study which says that taking 2 to 3 cups of decaffeinated ground or instant coffee a day is associated with significant reductions in incident cardiovascular disease and mortality. Even more, ground and instant coffee but not decaffeinated coffee was associated with reduced arrhythmia. In fact, coffee consumption at 3 to 4 cups per day has been described as probably not harmful and perhaps even moderately beneficial in the 2021 European Society of Cardiology Prevention of Cardiovascular Disease Guidelines. But they have mentioned that non-filtered coffee contains LDL cholesterol raising, cafistol and cachviol and may be associated with 25% increased risk of mortality due to atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease by consumption of 9 or more drinks per day. The UK Biobank study recruited participants aged 40 to 69 years between 2006 to 2010. There were 449,563 participants in the final study cohort after various exclusions. Median age was 58 years and median follow-up was 12.5 years. 100,510 non-coffee drinkers served as controls. 6.7% of the participants had arrhythmia, which included 3.4% of atrial fibrillation or flutter, 0.7% of supraventricular tachycardia, and 0.4% of ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation. Compared with non-drinkers, a U-shaped relationship was seen between increasing levels of coffee consumption and increased incidence of any arrhythmia. After adjustment for multiple co-variables, lowest risk for arrhythmias was seen in those who consumed 2 to 3 cups of coffee per day. There was some variation between the types of arrhythmias and the optimal level of consumption. Incident coronary artery disease was diagnosed in 7.7% of the participants. Incident congestive heart failure occurred in 2.8% and incident stroke in 1.5%. Lowest risk for coronary artery disease was observed in those who consumed 2 to 3 cups of coffee per day. Similar figures were noted for congestive heart failure and ischemic stroke as well. Greatest reduction mortality was also noted at 2 to 3 cups of coffee per day. 44.1% of the participants used instant coffee, while 18.4% used ground coffee and 15.2% used decaffeinated coffee. In case of ground coffee, all-cause mortality was lowest at 2 to 3 cups per day, while cardiovascular mortality was lowest at 4 to 5 cups per day. U-shaped relationship was noted between all subtypes of coffee and all-cause mortality. 2 to 3 cups per day of instant coffee was associated with the lowest risk of any arrhythmia. Effect of decaffeinated coffee on any type of arrhythmia was neutral in this study. Coffee is composed of more than 100 biologically active components of which caffeine is the most well recognized. Acute caffeine intake results in sympathetic activation mediated by inhibition of phosphodiesterase, calcium release within the cells and stimulation of release of sympathomimetic amines. But habitual coffee consumption has not been shown to result in changes in heart rate, ECG parameters or heart rate variability. One cup of coffee contains about 95 mg of caffeine while energy drinks often contain much higher levels and have been associated with adverse events. Antiarrhythmic properties of caffeine are mediated through inhibition of adenosine A1 and A2A receptors. National Institutes of Health AARP Diet and Health Study had checked the association of coffee drinking and subsequent total and cause specific mortality among 
273,141 women. The study was conducted between 1995 and 2008. Authors concluded that coffee consumption was inversely associated with total and cost-specific mortality, but they could not determine whether this was a causal or associational finding. First set of journal references. Second set of references. Third set of references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.